Clemson 48, Wake Forest 27. Post-game win expectancy for Clemson was 100%. This was not even close. Clemson's offense finally woke up. 7.3 yards per play. They had 543 total yards on the day, 333 rushing. They held Wake Forest to only 36 yards rushing. This was uh, a beating, just an absolute beating. DJ, again, didn't look great. 11 out of 19, but 208 yards. He was able to basically just throw the ball up and let his receivers go get it. Like at Wake Forest defense is uh, really bad, Re- like worse than I yeah. than I thought they were, which was shocking because UConn it, they only gave up a thirty percent success rate against Clemson last week, and this week I mean it was just a whole different ball game. Looking at the success rate here for Clemson, uh, uh, pulling it up, I mean it 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 had to be just unbelievable. Success rate on the day was 56%. They had a a 50% or better success rate in all four quarters on offense. That's that's just unbelievable. (laughs) And, of course, I bet on Wake Forest. Like, I I feel every time I do this. I wanted to believe in the Wake Forest uh, offense, but they've solved the offense. And, honestly, that Clemson rushing, that kind of came out of nowhere. The, the other thing to look at, I mean, coming into this game, I had I had Clemson very, very bad on third and fourth downs. And the way that they were able to rush, I think it just just it entirely changed the game. They went, oh, this is loading, and I'm sorry that I'm vamping. I oh, know you're good. Um, I had them 97th and third and fourth downs coming into this game. And they went 7 of 11, 8, eight of 11 if you count a fourth, fourth down there. So Clemson, Wake Forest all season has been bad on, on – third and fourth downs, but Clemson's offense has not been able to move the ball and convert. And they were able to do that with impunity, 72% yesterday. And so, I mean, Dave Clawson said at the half, he said that, you know, they have the athletes. If we can't keep the ball and extend drives, and if we can't stop them on third down and get our athletes on the field, we're, we're, we're in a bad way. Oh, and, yeah. and I mean, that's a hundred percent. What happened is Clemson just was able to make those third down plays that they haven't. And that is like multiplicative, right? You make one, you get a chance in the second, the defense is a little more tired, then you get a chance in third. And, and they just wore down a team that they're obviously more talented than. Yeah. Wake, Wake Forest, very, very fun. But this does, you know, you talk about a lot about like in mismatch games where a team is bad, uh, but they have good recruiting and they play another bad team that like special teams is going to be an equalizer because, you know, oh, yeah. the, the good team is playing four and five stars on special team. The bad team is playing walk-ons. This is a little bit what kind of felt like what happened with Wake Forest's defense is like they've got a little offensive success, but on aggregate, the talent and balance was so overwhelming that if Clemson had just a spark on third down, they were kind of able to do what they wanted. Oh, a hundred percent. Gary Lewis jumped in and said Clemson D line won the game against Wake. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, very much. Uh, Clemson had seven sacks, 10 tackles for loss in this game compared to Wake, who had zero. I mean, just, just unbelievable. They, they had four tackles for loss, but zero sacks. Uh, as far as turnovers go, this will lose you the game every time. Both teams had three turnovers, but Clemson was able to score 14 points off the wins that they generated. So that, uh, that'll stop you. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.